Okay, so welcome everybody to our little room. So glad that you're all here. It's really great to see you. It actually really is to see other faces, other people working through stuff. Um, so I have been on this focus of aligning activation in the upper body and aligning the head and neck and the over the torso. So last time I think I shared about kind of where the lats should be. This time I, I'm gonna teach you what I call magic. Ready? So what, what it is about is just hey, getting the head and the chest and everything working properly together. So if you want to try it out with me, you can lay down on your back. And what I'm trying to teach people to do is really give their neck a good support. So whenever they're on their backs, I usually cue the hands to squeeze the neck and the pinkies to really grip at the back of the occiput. So this really hitting the back of the occiput there and then a lot of the mistake we see in, in any sort of upper ab work is that the head is just coming up by itself. But I've been trying to untrain that from people. So I have them think about where the rib cage is and where the shoulder blades go instead. So if I take a breath in here and exhale, let the rib cage drop down first without doing anything else and just stretch the back of my neck, rib cage dropping down. Then my head actually even starts to float a tiny bit and then relax. I'm not going to take anywhere. I'm just going to take a breath in. Exhale, rib cage drops down. Back of the neck stretches along and I'm actually pulling it along and inhale. One more time, just that rib cage down, stretching the back of the neck long. Great. And then relax. And so the other piece of that is the shoulder blade. So if I then take my breath in, Exhale, rib cage comes down. I pull the back of the neck and then I slide my shoulder blades down my back. Now my head really wants to float. So I'm just gonna let it fall on my spine. And if I stay here, I'm really just hanging here. My neck's not doing anything. It's really my rib cage and my shoulder blades. And if I keep going with my rib cage and I keep going with my rib cage and I keep correcting for those shoulder blades, I end up floating my head up and then going back down. So try that all together, taking a breath in, exhale, rib cage going down, give length to the back of the neck, shoulder blades slide, and then squeeze the upper abs, and then I get this head lift by magic. So this is what I'm calling magic these days. One more time, rib cage down, shoulder blades down, head is being pulled long, rib cage continues to pull down, shoulder blades down, and then the magic is I'm up here and there's no stress in my neck at all and it's all right focused into my upper ab region and then back down. So that has been my, my um, goal over the last week is to teach people how to get that head up without straining um, and then how to use the abs to lift the head in front. So there you go.